Hello everyone, this video is going to be for those interested in getting into game development, have chosen Unreal Engine as their choice set of tools to build their games, and want to know how to install Unreal Engine itself. To get started, go to unrealengine.com, link will be in the description below, and go and sign into your account by clicking on this button on the top right corner. Now if you don't have an account, then click on the sign up button so that you can make an account by filling out the fields in this page and then once you're done, click on create account. Once you are signed in, go back to unrealengine.com and go to the download button here on the top right and make sure you have the game developers tab selected. Now normally this page will prompt you to click off a checkbox saying that you have read and agreed to the end user agreement. I've already done this step so it won't show here but if I go to the enterprise tab, this is what it normally looks like. It's here's the user agreement that you can scroll through and read and then here's the checkbox saying that you've read and agreed to the agreement and once you click off the checkbox, the accept button will become enabled and clickable. Now, go back to the Game Developers tab, and basically, what I just did for the Enterprise tab, do that on here because it's going to look like that for your screen, for people doing this step for the first time. And once you click that Accept button, it will take you to this page that looks like this, saying that you have agreed to the End User License Agreement, as well as a Proceed to Download button. Click the Proceed to Download button, and this will initiate the download for the Epic Games Launcher setup. Once the setup file has finished downloading, go to where that file has been downloaded to, double click it to open it, I already have it open, and click this install button here. Now your computer may prompt you if whether or not you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, just click the yes button when prompted to do so, and let the Epic Games Launcher install on your computer. Once the Epic Games Launcher has finished installing, you may be prompted by your Windows firewall to allow the app access. Now just click on the allow access button if you are prompted in this case. I've already done this step multiple times, that's why you don't see it here. But once you've done that, the Epic Games Launcher should automatically open and sign in by entering your email and password and then clicking the sign in button. Once you have signed into your Epic Games account, go to the right here where it says Unreal Engine and click on it and then now you will see a button on the top right labeled Install Engine. Click on that and you should see this prompt come up. This is where you can uh, designate the folder to where you want your Unreal Engine to be installed as well as whether or not you want a shortcut to be created. Now click on Install here to start the download for your Unreal Engine. And of course, it'll prompt you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, just say yes. And this should start the installation for the latest stable version of Unreal Engine. And at the time of the re this recording, that version is 4.22.3. Now that Unreal Engine is done installing, I just want to point out that this location in the Epic Games Launcher, specifically the Library tab under the Unreal Engine section, is where you would go to if you want to install additional versions of Unreal Engine in addition to the one you currently have installed. And to do that, you would just click this plus button here by where it says Engine Versions, and then click this number to select the version number that you want to install. And then whenever you're ready, just click the install button. But we're not actually going to do this. I just want to show you that you have this ability in case in the future you want to install multiple versions of Unreal Engine. So just click this uh, X button to remove the slot. I also want to show you that for any currently installed versions of Unreal Engine that you already have, you can click this uh, button with a triangle on it and it will give you a range of things that you can do with this installation such as setting the installation options, setting this version of Unreal Engine as your current version, creating a desktop shortcut to this version of Unreal Engine, uninstalling this version of Unreal Engine, and verifying your installation of Unreal Engine. And you'll also see a tab under it called My Projects. Now this tab will basically show you any projects that you have made or are making with Unreal Engine. And then you'll also see a tab called Vault and this will show you any asset packs that you installed or downloaded from the marketplace which can be found in the tab to the left of the library tab. Now let's actually test our installation of Unreal Engine and make sure that everything's working by actually opening Unreal Engine. And to do that, click this button called Launch Unreal Engine on the top right of your launcher. And once that opens, we're just gonna make a new project. To make a new project, go to the tab called New Project here on the top. Make sure you have Blueprint selected and 
I'm going to for now choose the first person template. So just make sure you have first person selected and the name for your project, just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine test. It doesn't really matter. And then click the create project button. Once your project has been created, let's actually run our game by clicking the play button on the top here. And if your installation and setup was done correctly, then you should be able to move around, shoot some of these balls from your weapon and your game should run fine as you can see in my window. To exit the game, just press escape. And that is pretty much it. You guys can now start developing games using Unreal Engine. Since this channel revolves mainly around C++ tutorials and not blueprints, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in developing games in C++, please stick around for our, our next video, which will be linked in the description below on how to install Visual Studio for Unreal Engine. Because once you have Visual Studio working for Unreal Engine, then you can start developing games in Unreal Engine with C++. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, join our Discord, support us on Patreon, and have a good day.